for nearly 160 years and I've got to tell you it's a pleasure to welcome our friends from Paris. This is the office of the conductor, what says one, and of course uh, our musician in association, uh, Professor Philip Wilby. Um, it's, it's, it has lots of special memories for me. This particular jug is from 1882. It gives all the prize money that they, they would have uh, won individually and then on the very front it gives the prize money of £2,011. Yeah. You know, uh, we just won the, the Yorkshire Championships and it's, uh, it's one of those ones where you qualify now for the Royal Albert Hall and everybody has their individual name. So this one is especially for Brett Baker and it's my way of saying thank you to the players. Because you know, never mind how good a conductor you think you are, when you conduct like this, it's not always very loud. It's the instruments that make you sound so good. So now it's going to be my pleasure to welcome you into the historic band room of Black Dyke. It was the band room that we practiced in for over 150 years. It's a special place and one I'm looking forward to showing you. So, as we come up from these historical pictures where we go into the band room that has won more competitions than any other band in the world. This is the band room that has had so many contest wins. All the certificates are all over uh, the band room. This particular wall is a very important one. It's where when the band has created a hat trick of wins, either the British Open or the Nationals, so it's the hat trick wall. The music stands that you see in front of you are the same music stands for over 150 years. So this stand has some of the greatest corner players, how they carve their name. From James Shepherd, of course, to Philip McCann, Roger Webster, Roger Webster, and of course, now our principal cornet, Richard Marshall. But you know, a band can be as good as they want. It's the music that they play that tells the story. In here is the music library of the Black Dyke Band. So welcome to the, the Black Dyke Library. It's an extensive library, probably one of the finest in the world for brass music. It uh, has just short of uh, probably 6,000 pieces of music. It's all organised and run by a gentleman called Keith Brickcliffe. Keith is the librarian. He keeps it all in this magnificent condition. But the music goes back right to the very beginning of Black Dyke. So well, I can look over to here and I can, I can see transcriptions and this particular one is La Prophet uh, by Mayrath and uh, it's handwritten music, I mean music that is priceless. So our second third corner players of the band, we've got Dave and Keith over there and we've got uh, John and Alex stood to my left. We're going to road test all these beautiful prestige comics now. What do you think then, Pidge? I, I really like them. I really like them, Keith. I think they're very free-blowing, especially in the lower register, yeah. which is excellent for us. And the, tu yeah. the tuning's good. I yeah. You can push yeah. a lot of air through it and it, you can control it quite well. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the low notes were really good. And yeah. it's, it's a nice light cornet, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Feel, yeah. Very, very feel, well built. Feel feels very solid, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah well they made. do. So. Yeah. yeah. Triggers work well. All the mechanics the, seem to the be The valves perfect. are fantastic. I love them. But it comes straight out of the box and works straight away. Just yeah. what you want on it. So. Yeah, good valve action. 
pretty good bow, actually. I'm happy with Come mine. <laughs> Certainly am with mine. I like the sound of mine. <laughs> We've been testing the instruments out now for a good two and a half hours at, here at the band room in Queensbury. Um, they've each chosen an instrument that they, that they really like and now we're going to roll test it by playing a little corny ensemble piece by Toby Book called a Spanier Cornetta. take an instrument these days I think straight out of the box and you could put it on a concert stage yeah. and I think obviously that's what we're going to do. 20-30 years ago instruments then you couldn't really do that you know no. there, was, there was always like a bedding in period wasn't there yeah. to any instrument you know I just think you know especially these prestiges you know they're so so easy to do that so out the case. <laughs>